Hello. Um, this video, I will show you how to create um, an assessment on my open map. Uh, so you go to your course, and then you're going to create app, an assessment, and give it a name. So for example, I give here um, midterm one practice. Yeah. And over here, you can set up instructions, set up, uh, is it the homework or a quiz, and you will do whatever you want over here. So I'm going to do homework because I wanted my student to practice at this one 20, I'm going to increase it to 10. So they can try at many times that they want to um, <clears throat> on uh, this part over here. And then um, we're going to do, uh, so maybe do it three, so student do it three times they will have is um, you know each question will have three version or you can make it 10 you can make as many times that you want to maybe 10 maybe too much too many times or maybe make it five so they practice five so that five question if they get wrong they get do that five time and then they get the same question again okay and then um, over here you set time limit everything and then you're done for that create step assessment and now we're going to add question so question that two way to do you can go to uh, select uh, an assessment right here and then you're going to choose from um, whatever that uh, segment that for example midterm one including function uh, domain and range and something else then you can select this and then you're going to use the assessment and then it have a whole bunch of questions here for you to choose from um, so which one it looks like if you like it and you choose it if not then no so for example, I look at this here, which graph is one-to-one -one function. So I click on this one and then I review it to see if I like it, then I can do this. For example, I like this one. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. So I'm gonna click on this and then add to that part. Yeah. Uh, so add. And then if let's say you look at the list and you don't see the question that you want to. Uh, so you're going to search on the library, which you, everybody created, put in here. Then you do it here. So click on select library. So for example, I'm going to click on here. I click um, um, solving, solving. Um, you see that I, <laughs> I've been searching a lot for that one. Solving um, system of linear equations uh, in there by graphing. So for example, you click on this, right? And then you search. And then you see a whole bunch of them in here. And then you can choose, you're gonna look at which one you like it. So I'm gonna be, I look at this one, do I like this one? Okay, I like this. So I'm gonna choose this one for my student to practice. This is another one right here to choose. Um, yeah, okay. Now, if you have somebody say, oh, I like this question and I think I should have my student to do this one, or your department creates a set of question and want you to add, this type of question in, then you can use that too. So for example, um, my department uh, give me this question and want me to add into my thing over here. Uh, the question number is this one right here. You're gonna search a question number. They give you the number and then you search for it. So I put on here and then you search and then here this question is appear right here. Then you just click on this and then you add to your. So now you have your, uh, all the things done right here. You want to click on this one more time pre to preview. This is what it looked like right here. This is the question look like, like this. And then the question look like, like this. And question look like, like this. So you happy with this. So then you can get done. And then you can um, insert it to your canvas, which on my next video, please see below.